Um, I'm not too sure. I was asking my best friend if he wanted, if he had any suggestions for uh, what his daughter's favorite fairy tale might be. But he had not responded yet. He's probably still working. And yeah, no, he works really late. Uh, so I'm gonna do something different tonight, kids. Uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, do a story with no script and just what goes on in my head. And I'm gonna make it a, you know, kid friendly. Uh, child-friendly version of um, uh, Tupac Shakur's Adventures. So Tupac was born um, I don't remember where he was born, but he was born in uh, I think possibly New York and uh, in the 70s and he was this young, very talented boy um, and he had a lot of energy growing up, you know. Um, his mother was, uh, let's just say her, his mother, Afini Shakur was part of the government or she was doing something for the government um and you know kids tupac had a very hard life growing up you know he didn't have a lot of nice things uh so he really wanted to work hard and become a musician but as he was growing up you know he started hanging out with the wrong people and he hung out with a lot of people that did not have what's best for his interests, what's best for him and in in their minds and you have to the point of the story is that you gotta be careful of people who are around you because everybody wants what's best for them and only your mommies and daddies wants what's best for you. Um, so having said that, Tupac started hanging around with you know all these people he thought that were really cool but were actually really against them and, and uh, he started hanging around with this group of people from a lab label company owned by this guy named Shook Knight. Um, you know, he had gotten into a lot of trouble before then, so he, he got put into detention in school for a year. But Suge Knight came in and uh, helped get him out of detention. He, he, he gave the teachers something, uh, a million something, and he was able to get out of detention for uh, a little bit. And uh, he started writing music and singing music for this Suge Knight, what he didn't know was that the Suge Knight was a huge bully, but he wasn't a real bully, you know, he was he was like a pretend bully, he's not really real bully, you know, just one of those people pretending to be bullies, but was actually scared inside himself too, but he did not have what's, what is the best for Tupac in heart, so he made Tupac work over time and, and, and treated Tupac very badly and Tupac soon realized this and he was like Oh man, like, you know, this guy scares me and, and I'm stuck here because he helped me out of detention. So I gotta like sing three songs, make three songs every day and, and get out of this. Uh, so Tupac started, you know, praying. Um, now I'm not a religious person, but he was praying. It's like, you know, mommy, daddy, like help me. Um, I don't want to do this anymore. And then, you know, he had a dream one night that his parents came and told him that, uh, if you work really hard, we will take you out of this miserable place that you have with your your music producer, Shook Knight, and we're gonna help you. So he 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 tried to continue work hard, and and because of hanging out with big bullies like Shook Knight, they started like getting into you know arguments with other musicians. Like you know, this guy was named Puffy, and another guy was named Biggie. I know their names are very funny, right? Puffy and Biggie, uh, and you know, not necessarily bad. Biggie and Puffy were, were kind of like Tupac and Suge Knight's enemies, you know, arch nemesis, but not really. The real enemy Tupac had was Suge Knight. Um, so he tried really hard and worked really hard, like his parents told him in his dream. And uh, one day, they went to Las Vegas to watch a boxing match from their friendly friend, uh, Mike Tyson, um, and this really, you know, this guy sounded like, uh, a chipmunk when he talked, but you know, he could, he, he was a good boxer, but you know, just when he started talking, just imagine a chipmunk talking, that's Mike Tyson, right? Um, and after the fight, I guess the big bully, Shug Knight, decided to, and some of their friends decided to get into a fight with another guy. And you know it wasn't very nice. They they kind of bullied this kid, and then they 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 kind of hit this kid. A bunch of them, Tupac and Suge Knight, and then they pulled away in 
their cars uh, and ran off because they didn't want to get detention for for bullying a kid, right? So when they were driving off, like Tupac started praying, started praying, started praying, and all of a sudden, when they were at the stoplight, Tupac started falling asleep, and he heard firecrackers and fireworks, just like you know, very loud, like bang, 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 going off in the sky, right? And he woke up. He was he was back home. Through magic, next to his parents, and uh, he lived happily ever after. And he mind his own business. He lived happily ever after with his parents. He was no longer, you know,、um, he no longer had to make two, three songs a day for a whole year with、uh, Suge Knight anymore. And、uh, um, now he w- he was happy. And what happened to the big bully Suge Knight? Well. The Suge Knight, and the story is about karma, right? It's about how like you don't treat people bad because it comes back to you. Now I told you kids that Suge Knight was、uh, he bullied a lot of people and made them, you know, work for him for very little pay, and、uh, he started bullying the wrong people, and the wrong people started standing back up to him. So there were two little chipmunks, right? And their names were.、Uh, Fifty Cent and an Akon, and you know, first Suge Knight thought he could do what he did to everybody else, all the musicians, like he, you know, like he can do to Fifty Cent. So he went to Fifty Cent,、uh, shooting of a Fifty Cent was shooting a music video, and it was called In the Club, and、uh, you know, he was doing his chipmunk voice, right, doing doing his、uh, music video, but、uh, it didn't go very well because Suge Knight interrupted and came with like. Thirty other little chipmunks to try to scare the one chipmunk, Fifty Cent, and Fifty、uh, Cent just stood up and said, "What do you guys want from me?" And Shug Knight didn't bother him and left. And then the next thing that happened was Shug Knight started bugging another chipmunk by the name of Akon.、Um, you know, but Akon's friend wasn't having it; didn't want to be bullied. So Akon's friends. You know, stood up and said, "Hey, stop bullying me," to Shug Knight, and you know, and then Shug Knight and Akon's friend—they both got detention because we're be- they were being bad boys. You know, they were kind of like pushing and shoving each other around. So the story is, don't push and shove people around because you're gonna get detention, and、uh, people are not gonna like you. And I hope the parents don't get too mad about at me for talking about this story. But I was thinking about the story.、Um, That might need. <laughs> I was looking for suggestions. I didn't really get any feedback. So this is my story for today, and I hope that、uh, it doesn't sit too badly with the parents that decided to trust their children listening to this fairy tale.、Uh, I hope I didn't use any bad languages. But the point of the story, kids, is that have a good night, sweet dreams, go to sleep, and、uh, be nice to one another. You know, and, and don't take your parents for granted. And remind them every day to say not just like I love you, not just thank you, but you know thank you for putting a roof over my head. That I'm never hungry, and the fact that I'm listening to YouTube. Life must be good. The end. <laughs>